Kind of like a spring tease out there for today yeah. with this uh, nice warm up that we have. We're going to be heading up into the 70s, about 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year. And it's uh, starting off right now in the upper 40s in Louisville. A little chillier north, a little warmer south. But soaring into the 70s today and tomorrow, near record highs. And it's going to be a bit windy tomorrow and into Wednesday. So Tuesday, some wind gusts 20 to 30 and some wind gusts 30 to 40 on Wednesday. We'll have a strong cold front move through early Wednesday morning with the chance of some strong thunder. Storms. That's going to be mainly, it looks like, around 3 until 8 o'clock time frame when we might need to be a little more alert for the chance of some isolated damaging winds. The Storm Prediction Center, this is the severe weather outlook here for tomorrow night into early Wednesday. Uh, the higher risk is going to be for areas off to our west where the air is a little bit more unstable. Parts of our area, basically from the Ohio River north, including Metro Louisville, under category uh, 1 out of 5. So low risk of severe weather overall. Uh, but we'll have to watch out for, again, some isolated damaging winds and maybe some hail out of some of those storms as they roll through early Wednesday morning. Uh, we'll have a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, but severe weather not expected with that. On Max HD radar and satellite right now, things are pretty quiet. We did have a couple showers move through early this morning and during the overnight hours now off to the east. We're dry for the rest of today. As we switch over to future cast, we'll have a light south breeze around 5 to 10. Sunshine and just about perfection this afternoon. Looking like April out there with temps in the lower 70s. Uh, some clouds begin to move back in tonight. There might be an isolated shower or two. Better chance of some spotty showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning as we get going. This is around 8 to 9 o'clock. Notice it's mild in the 60s and lower 70s for tomorrow and we will have some dry time tomorrow afternoon. So definitely not going to be a washout for our Tuesday. And then as we go into early Wednesday morning, here's that higher chance of that line of storms moving through right on the leading edge of that cold front. Still mild in the early morning hours Wednesday, but watch the crashing temperatures here with that north flow in the backside of this front, maybe sneaking in a couple of snowflakes as this preset moves off to the east as well. So it is going to be brisk out there, windy and much colder, about a 30 degree drop in temperatures from Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday afternoon, probably feeling about 40 degrees colder. So temps out there now are in the upper 40s. It is cool. It is quiet outside. It is chillier to the north. Notice our temperature difference. 34 in Seymour and still 54 in Springfield. So about a 20 degree difference in temperatures from north to south, but all that warm air is starting to funnel in. Our allergy report today remains high due to trees and jun juniper and also medium levels for tomorrow and then lower Wednesday as that rain moves through and some colder temperatures move in. Near record highs out there, spring-like conditions, 74 degrees. The record high today is 76, set back in 2000. The first time we've been in the 70s in 102 days since uh, mid-November was the last time we were in the 70s. Uh, 58 are low for tonight with an isolated shower possible. Our seven-day forecast as we wrap up February and head into March it features 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. A chilly end to the month with 40s Wednesday and Thursday. March 1st back into the 50s with a few rain showers and looking really nice for our first March weekend there for Saturday and Sunday. Sam?